Uh, but I concluded last week with the possibility of the new moon. But I was suspicious of beyond the new moon. Well, the new moon is over in Jerusalem. It, we're still awaiting it here. But everything is based on Jerusalem time, so it is too late for Tammuz 1, the new moon, to be the appointed time. But let, let's talk about different kinds of moads. Are Sabbath, holy days, and new moons the only thing we could expect? Um, <clears throat> I've been suspicious of the fifth, but how could I absolutely prove it? So we're waiting for a day that will come, come. It's the midst of the years, the midst of the years. And over here, God says, I'm telling you, the word of God came, came twice. And it repeats the date it came on twice. I'm going to show you something else that drives home the fifth. Because remember, if you were studying the Bible, reading it through like most people do, you would read Ezekiel well before he ever got to Habakkuk. And if you knew when God's two years were, and you, and you had Tammuz 5 in mind, by the time you got to Habakkuk, you would be ready for God throwing the overhand right and the left hook to finish the knockout, proving the fifth of the month. You know, you'd have to have the right year, and you'd have to know the whole picture, and everything would have to be plain. The mystery of God would have to end. And, and you'd have to know a number of things, that, you know, it's in the summer after the latter rain and a lot of other things. I can't come and tell you it's the fifth, but it's some other Moad when God has gone way out of his way to point to this day. In fact, if it weren't this year on the fifth, I will tell you there is no chance for the sixth or after based on what I know. We're going to wait a year to this exact same day. I'm so certain of it now. Now, how that would be close to the end of the series, how a year from now could be a tiny, tiny micron, or I'm about to sound when I made the mystery clear, that would be hard to explain. <laughs> how God sent his messenger, uh, you know, Ponim, right in the face of when he was going to come to clear things up, but that's really a year. But I will tell you, I will tell you, I will not say to you, it's any day beyond the 5th. If it does not happen on the 5th, buckle up. I'll tell you, buckle your seatbelt because we're going to wait for the exact same day. And God just teased us with the correct day, but, not, but we have the incorrect year. And, and then the 2,000 years is off. And 2024 doesn't start seven years to 2031 and on and on and on. You know all these other things. But if I knew, I would not only watch, I would tell you. And so I'm doing that now. And I can't imagine, short of Gabriel telling me, no, it is the fast day, and the fifth was close, I can't imagine coming back and giving you a different date. What other date or Moad could I tell the house? Midday Wednesday here. We know it's a work day. Well, that's a work day. And interesting, I'm told I'll be found so doing. Well, I'll be found at the office working. That's where I'll be on Wednesday. So has this been the, the final short ration foretold by Christ? I think so. Where there's just a tiny, tiny micron to go, something under 90 hours? I think so. I can't imagine it's not. Good night.